The Boston Celtics have got themselves firmly atop of the Eastern Conference, putting all the drama of the offseason completely behind them. But they haven't gotten there playing tough-nosed defense like last year. No, my friends, they have been putting on an awesome display of offensive fireworks with the kind of efficient scoring never seen before in the history of the NBA. Let's start with the top of the scoring pyramid, Jason Tatum. Pick and roll is his main point of attack, and they run this 25 play, with a pin down for the ball screener first. But if the defense goes under the ball screen, it's three point time. Here's the same setup with a pin down for ball screener, but then turn it into Spain action with the back screen for Jalen Brown's man. The spacing wasn't great, but who needs it when your best scorer can hang in the air, twist, and still hit this with touch? Here's the same play, and chaos ensues defensively as these two guys want to switch, but aren't there to switch on the main action out top, so Jason Tatum abides. Out of horns, they'll flare him to the wing and twist back into a pick and roll with Horford, who spaces out to the three-point line, leaving Tatum to go one on three with a floater. We got Spain on this possession with much better spacing. Watch Brown backscreen Lou Cornett's man, opening up a free run to the hoop for Tatum. They do vary it by getting Tatum off ball for Spain as he ball screens then pops out to the weak side and he is not shy when given the slightest sliver of daylight averaging almost 10 threes a game. I think it's imperative to get your best scorer acting like a role player in the offense 20% of the time. Let some other guys get some touches. With the short roll from Horford, the Bulls defense has to rotate to the middle and notice how Marcus Smart doesn't even think about shooting it, just finds the wide open Tatum for the splash. Here's a little inverted pistol for Smart on the handoff into ball screen with Tatum deep in the right corner. He lifts to the wing, his man had to bump down to help, and another good decision by Smart to skip it for a good look. If you watch enough half-court clips, you'll see Smart set flare screens for Tatum a lot, organically and in the flow of the offense. In the past, we might have seen Smart jack this shot up or force it inside for a tough low percentage shot. This year, he's more patient finds the open man, and Tatum continues to show us how he's getting so many three-point attempts. One of the biggest differences between last year and this year is their increase in three-point field goal frequency, and combine that with a bump up in pace, and we're seeing a significant increase in transition long-range bombing. Check how much higher their percentage is on the break, and this is only possible if they take care of their balls properly, without fumbling them, turning them over, or letting them get completely unkempt. Which is why I'm sure they're using Manscaped's performance package, so that their three balls continue to move through the air smoothly. It's vital to keep things tidy on your face and in your more sensitive areas, and their lawnmower 4.0 can take care of both. It's cordless and waterproof, so use it in the shower and you won't piss off your wife. But Manscaped's performance package has tons more. Their Weed Whacker defends you all up in your face, sending those annoying nose and ear hairs back into the stands. And the Crop Reviver has cool aloe vera to keep your balls dishing and swishing. If the Celtics want to keep up the faster pace, they're going to need more freedom of motion, and the only way to do that is by keeping their balls tidy and aerodynamic. Use my code BBALL to save 20% off your order, but I'll also call Manscaped and tell them to give you two free gifts for a limited time, the Shed Travel Bag and Anti-Chafing Boxer Briefs. I wear these all the time, and I wouldn't trust anyone else next to my performance package. So click on the link below, use my code BBALL, and perhaps using Manscaped was the key to turning Marcus Smart into the point guard leading an all-time great offense. They've doubled the amount of post-ups he got last year, and he's increased the points per possession enough to make it a viable option. I love this picket fence action they run for Brown on the weak side. Watch how the cutter sucks Horford's man into the lane, then Tatum hunts him on the pin down so Horford's wide open on the skip pass. Smart is at an all-time career high in assists per game as he uses the post-up and the split cut to again open Horford up for plenty of room to hit the three ball. They use this cross screen from Smart to get his defender to pay attention to Grant Williams cutting, letting him duck in for extremely low post position. And with shooters all around, it makes it very hard on the defense to stop. They also move him around a lot in the offense. Here he is as a ball screener slash short roller, and if the defense is going to send the wrong player to rotate, he can make that skip pass easily, and this is why Horford is scorching at 48%. He's cut down a bit on his ball handling in the pick and roll, and now his efficiency is through the roof. They run Spain for him, he's very patient, lets the play develop, and then makes the easy pass for the wide open three ball out top. 
The other key to all his assists is his desire to make the one more pass consistently. A huge chunk of his half-court assists are simply moving the ball quickly to the open man rather than burp one up himself, and it's a big reason why their three-point shooting overall has been so effective. This has been the Marcus Smart I've been waiting so long for. Not the guy who's going to force shots that miss wildly, but someone who plays within himself, doesn't try to do too much, and while Celtics fans had a real problem with me trying to explain his issues for so many years, I think we can all agree the difference this year is not only history making, but gets me out of my chair rooting for him to continue. Thank you, Marcus. It's possible some of Brogdon's game has worn off on Smart, as he's been a fantastic addition to the team. He's always on balance, and his decision making is some of the best you'll see from the guard position. He's got this knack for throwing good interior passes that don't get deflected, are catchable, and allow the bigs the opportunity to just catch it and put the ball in. He's not getting a lot of crunch time minutes in the rotation, but something tells me that that could change when the playoffs come. Oh, and keep your eye on his left wing three-point shooting. He is currently at 62.5% from this area. And while it's not completely clear why this is, there is a notion that their offense likes to go to the right side since the Celtics are all right-handed players, leaving the left wing as the open area when drives occur, and he certainly has been getting open from his spot. But there's also evidence of him nailing threes off the dribble from the left wing too. So the Celtics would be wise to find more actions that get him to this spot. Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here, and I want to ask a little favor. I'm getting a little bit close to a million subscribers. I love to get there a little bit quicker, so hit that subscribe button if you like this. Give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, and stay tuned for lots more coming up all season long. And we can't finish this video without talking about their number two, Jalen Brown. Very few, if any, teams have a one-two punch from the wings like the Celtics do, and based on their abilities at both ends of the floor, it's an advantage no one else in the league has. The biggest difference in his game is in transition. Like we mentioned earlier, the Celtics have increased their pace quite a bit, and Brown's effectiveness in the open court has never been better in his career. He's quickly turning into one of only a handful of players who can go coast to coast and require more than one defender to stop. They all hinge on him coming up the court at about 70% speed, then bursting into an explosive move that doesn't require any kind of fancy dribbling, just out-athleting his opponents to get right to the rim. You're not going to see any Steph Curry pulls from deep off the break from him. He gets to the rim, finishes strong through contact, and still displays soft touch in case he needs a roll. And if he gets the outlet, it's even harder to defend. With so much shooting around him, defenses don't want to rotate off their men, so he's just got a head start in the rest of the field. Check how strong he is to get John Collins out of the way, but then controlling his strength to lay this in. While having such an overpowering offense is surely a big key to winning games in the NBA during the regular season, they're going to have to do some serious soul searching to improve their 20th ranked defense. It's just not going to cut it deep into the postseason. Of course, the return of Robert Williams should really help them rise up the defensive rating column. But if they want to get back to the finals, that rank better get into the top 10. But for now, sit back and enjoy the show, as we've never seen a team be this efficient ever.